Hi, so today I'm on my Android 10.1 GTAB tablet by Matricom, and I'm going to show you some apps on here. So the first app that I want to review is called Sketchbook Pro by Autodesk. And with this app, you have, um, well, first of all, so basically I tried using um, styluses with this um with this tablet and I think because there's a screen protector on here uh, Apple styluses don't really work with this screen protector I'm not really sure what it is um, but it doesn't uh, styluses don't really work with the tablet they sort of work but they're not like a continuous line um, and I tried different ones. I tried the uh, ball, um, rubber tipped styluses. These work fine on my iPad, but my iPad doesn't have a um, a screen protector on it. That's probably why these work. So, if anybody knows of a screen protector that works the styluses, please let me know. Um, so the case that this is in is a Fenty Matricon G Tab folio case, and I got it on Amazon for fifteen dollars, a little over fifteen dollars. And um, here's the app. So you have um, different colors here that are already there. You have your toolbar over here, so I can select a brush and go up here to the rainbow circle and pick a color so you just swirl this around you pick what color you want like if I want yellow and click here and uh, this down here is some more navigation tools so kind of draw cool stuff with this and then there's also if you make a mistake there's also an undo redo button so that's what this yellow red button is here it allows you to undo the strokes that you've made so there I'm going to do that stroke so these are all your brushes and you have all these brushes. Just kind of keeps going. There's lots of brushes on here. I'm just going to pick a nice little pattern. I'm going to pick a different color. Or I can go over here and pick a color. I love I love this app. Sketchbook Pro also works on the iPad and on your Mac. But this but this um, Android tablet works pretty well too. The only problem I've had is with the stylus not working with the, this particular screen protector. But other than that, it works fine with your finger. And that's what I end up doing a art, lot of artwork with. So here I'm going to pick a different color. Just so you can see that. And then over here you can change what what is over here in this bar. So I'm gonna, if I want to change it like this. Maybe a different color. And you can basically switch out these. So the next thing is layers. So basically with layers, you can add a layer. And let's just say I took a big um, brush here. I'm going to tap this. So when you tap this button down here, you can resize your uh, brush and also tell and you can also make it how light or dark it is. I'm gonna go really dark here. Now since I have a layer over here, I can go over here and since that's in a different layer, I can take this brush here. And I can erase just that layer so you can keep stuff underneath. And the next thing is, you tap these two to three dots up here, you can do horizontal or vertical symmetry. So basically you pick your brush, bump up the radius and then paste it here, that's how you, it's another editing thing. And then I'm going to pick a different color so you can see it. Maybe even, actually over here you have a, um, a little color palette already picked for you. So I'm going to pick a nice little, uh, maybe a blue. Basically with this selected, I can makes it symmetry, symmetric. So I can undo that and I can do a horizontal one. Or I can do a line. There's a the line button. So I'm going to pick like a yellow. 
Oh, I still have that on. Okay, and then you can do lines or uh, rectangles. Wait, just didn't do it. Okay. Or circles. And then also with this app, you have a ruler. here and uh, a circle ruler and you also have the fill button okay and then you have you can transform everything and that's on that specific specific layer so that's why that only moves and then uh, you have your text you can type in some stuff um, here, I had already sketchbook in there, and that's why that's there. You can see if you can see that. So, I wrote some text. Um, and then over here, you got your regular things a quick tour, usual manual about sketchbook news. And then over here, you click this icon over here for new sketch, save, or gallery. So, I'm going to click new sketch and I'm going to discard because I do not want this. And then right now, I'm going to pick. The first option, and uh, that's basically this app. Um, here's another picture that I did. Uh, gallery, don't save. This is another one I did of this mermaid. I did that yesterday. So, anyway. Um, now, on the Android tablet, to go back between um, different apps and stuff, you just press the back button. So, arrow right here. So, I'm going to click back. There it is. There you go. Um, so that's really it. Um, you can explore all the different brushes. There's quite a few brushes on here. All different. Um, actually, I'm going to pick one spot, a spot over here. And uh, they got some neat brushes. They got some funky ones. And uh, this is your blending tool here. The, the blending brush. The, the squiggly with the blend in it kind of, I don't know if you can see that, let me change that, okay, so I'm going to beef it up, make it a little bigger, make it a little stronger, you can kind of blend stuff up, uh, and then there's, then there's these pencils, like all your HB, your B, your two H's, or whatever you want, they're all here, you got some neat patterns, And you also got some weird stuff like uh, foliage, maybe some grass, and they have some funky brushes in here too. Uh, a couple things for like bugs and cartoon stuff. Um, so you have like a little text box. Um, you got stars. So this is a neat app. I, I really enjoy it. I just downloaded it yesterday, and so far I, I love it. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pick a brush. I like how this app, for some reason, the Android version for of this app, um, it has similar to the application that you can get on your MacBook or your MacBook Pro. The Sketchbook Pro on there. is kind of, this, this looks like um, the one... It's very similar to the t to the version on my MacBook Pro, and it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and there's other stuff that's unique to the stuff you can get on the iPad for that app. Um, so it's a it's a neat app. Anyway, um, so also with this tablet, if I wanted to do um, well, actually, I'll do that for another video. Um, so for the next video, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you this. This is my, uh, Bluetooth keyboard. I like to use this for, um, for any kind of typing stuff I do on here. And then also with, that didn't come with it, but these did. These are little, uh, adapters that came with this tablet. So like here you plug it into the side and you can put in a USB or a, um, there's other things here too. So this is like a little USB to a mini or whatever that is. It's like a cord. Anyway, so uh, that's that's it.
from my video and in the next video I'll explain a lot about a couple other things about this tablet and also be talking about my launch tech um, keyboard a little bit so this is my favorite to pair with this because when you turn it on kind of lights I don't know if you can see that but it kind of lights up anyway so that's the end of my video bye